Hi friend, in this video we are going to discuss about installing GNS3 and configuring IOU or Cisco iOS on Unix. So, this is the major topic. From beginning, while I listen about the Cisco IOU, I was very excited, very curious, what is Cisco IOU? How does this work? What is advantage? This advantage, so on and so forth. How to configure? By the way, hopefully after this video, you people will clear out how to configure Cisco IOU and what is Cisco IOU. So basically, this is kind of network simulator. A network simulator is what? Uh, a person who is looking for certification, who is looking for know the network technology, design the topology, analysis, concept and configuration. And the person who do not have the physical devices or Cisco gear like Cisco router or Cisco switches, that person can use the network simulator. So Cisco have already created couple of network simulator like packet tracer and Cisco IOU. So this is the major topic that we are going to discuss in this video. Cisco IOU is nothing special than a network simulator. It's kind of iOS or operating system running inside Unix rather than a physical devices like switch or a router. We have couple of uh, other vendor or other software you can find like GNS3, NS, OpNet, Boson, NetSim and so on and so forth. Uh, GNS I would like to <laughs> go through the GNS. This is one of best uh, means I love GNS I should say. So to know more about the network simulation you can go ahead and click on it. Uh, I am going to share this file with you. So find the link below of video YouTube channel and download this file to understand better. And I also mention uh, the link about what is Cisco Packet Tracer and what is GNS and all those things. So Cisco IOU or Cisco iOS on Unix is a Cisco proprietary network simulator. It required less resources than GNS run on Unix operating system. To know more about the Cisco IOU, please follow these are the links. Uh, the major concern about the, this video, how we can run a Cisco IOU inside GNS3. Since this is not feasible to install a virtual machine and then after work on Cisco IOU, sometimes you require graphical user interface so that you can interact with Cisco IOU. So GNS are going to integrate, you can integrate I should say, you can integrate your Cisco IOU inside GNS3. And <laughs> warning, make sure this is tutorial only. I am not going to uh, against of Cisco since the Cisco IOU is proprietary software. In fact, Cisco don't want to share with us. So, by the way, and what kind of software and components we require to do this? Obviously, a Cisco IOU image is kind of operating system that will be run on virtual machine. And then uh, license of image, GNS3, so that you can integrate these two entity inside GNS. Virtual box, hopefully you know well, GNS also support a virtual machine inside. So you can install virtual machine inside GNS. So I am going to use virtual box. Obviously a operating system that will be run inside the virtual box, a Unix operating system that will be the compatible with Cisco IOU. So these five things you require and I have already uh, provided link to you people you can just download all those things. Uh, okay. So that is what you require to download this file and then after you can go ahead and go perform practical step by step. So so far I have installed a virtual box already that is straightforward pretty uh, pretty easy just click next 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 and next 
and and I also installed GNS uh, 3 that is version of 1. Point, uh, let me <laughs> this is excuse me about GNS actually this is GNS 1.1 1 .1. good so by default your GNS work on local machine means uh, emulating your software your hardware on GNS but this time we are going to run Cisco IOU to do this you need to do couple of tasks so follow uh, me and go step by step first one click on GNS3 server select drop down list and you can find after installing virtual box inside your machine there will be the IP address 192.168.51.1 second one is uh, you you need to click on add button so two tasks that you have successfully performed now you need to save this configuration so just make little bit space to work out apply and now going back to the ios on unix here you need to locate where you have put your um, this is what known as actually <laughs> uh, let me see windows d this one yeah this is license file so i have installed my license i have put my license file on desktop so go ahead and browse that that thing so desktop and this is the warning test test only folder and then this is the license file go ahead and apply now cisco iou devices you need to configure before do this i also need to do couple of tasks so let me go ahead and do that thing uh, download the virtual machine or a virtual machine that i have provide the link and provide where you have located your virtual link since i i have already told you all those things whatever uh, i required for this video i put on the desktop so this is the virtual machine on desktop i am going to import that one you can customize the hardware for now i am not going to do anything keep as simple as it is and i am going to pause video little bit might be take little bit time so there we go we have already install the virtual machine and i'm go ahead i'm going to go ahead and turn on this virtual machine so there we go Let's change network setting make sure the network setting uh, host only adapter and all those things so once you install virtual machine inside your physical machine or a host machine your virtual machine itself going to create a virtual NIC inside your machine so I want to also share that thing excuse me so this is my machine this is my laptop where I am going uh, where I am recording so this is the virtual NIC installed by the virtual box. It has IP address 192.168.56.1. That's why inside your GNS we allot the IP address 192.168.56.1. That's very good. So go ahead and log in with it. So user that is root and password is Cisco you can verify your virtual machine IP address using command IP config so the IP address of this virtual machine is that is 192.168.56.101 so this is the IP address of your virtual machine you can verify the connectivity is there or not 192.168.56.101 oh, 56 that should be 56 
hopefully we will get reply back exactly so means your machine is working virtual machine is working now what you need to do you need to upload your cisco images cisco iou images i should say let me minimize that one that you have already download from the given link so i have couple of ios images if you have more than it you can upload this one for uh, instance for example i am going to use these two layer 2 and layer 3 so one more thing i would like to mention now you need to put the ip address of your url that is 192.168.56.5601 this is ip address of your virtual box or a machine and then assign the port number and upload your cisco iou software so 192.168.56.101 along with the port number and slash upload go ahead and click on choose file and browse your iou where you have put so for instance i keep all those thing on my desktop Uh, test only and first one is so this is going to upload and second one upload this one as well so i have successfully uploaded these two cisco iou images on virtual box so so there we go we have successfully uploaded these images go ahead and minimize this close this one and uh, now it's time to configure your iou devices so we have already assigned now we need to assign the what is that <laughs> uh, we need to assign um, the file actually this is uh license file so i have a located license file on desktop so i locate the where you have put your license and then after go ahead and select the uh, rest of thing you don't need to do anything uh go ahead and click on iou devices new device so device running locally uh, on cloud either remote so that is actually remote this is the ip address of remote server next okay and what kind of what what do you like to put the name of cisco iou for me this is test and then iou image so iou image now you need to told to your cisco uh, sorry you need to allocate these addresses actually control c not these addresses <laughs> control v so this is the location where your cisco iou located inside your virtual box finish so this is layer 2 you can go ahead and select another one Okay. this is test 2 and then this is layer 3 image you can upload couple of more than it for me and going go ahead and tell this is layer 3 image so once you tell this is layer 3 image this is your uh, gns going to change the icon of devices icon of devices so there we go let's see cisco iou so one is layer 2 another is layer 3 so these two we have already uh, put on the area where we can perform testing and go ahead turn on these devices and go ahead use the console button you can see <laughs> we can execute the commands 
so hopefully this video will be informative for you and thanks for watching